Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, first, I want to thank you for your willingness to serve in this uh, great, great building for your uh, fellow citizens. You have each made sacrifices to be here, and it is an honor to serve you here in the, this chamber. It is an even greater honor to serve you, my colleagues, as your speaker pro tem. I want to also thank my constituents back home who have provided me with the opportunity to represent them these past five years. I am grateful. Before I go much further, though, there are some very special people that I'd like to say thank you uh, for to, uh, because they make tremendous sacrifices so that I can be here to serve in Des Moines. They're my wife, Cammie, and our three adult children, Seth, Wes, and Mariah. I have missed events to be down here. I have been gone when something has broken down down here, and I have forgotten more than I should because I've been here serving as a state legislator. And because of that, they deserve a huge thank you from me. Each of us in this chamber have different priorities and different desires that our constituents have sent us here, here for. And I look forward to working with each of you uh, to accomplish those issues in a bipartisan fashion. There will be times, though, that we won't agree. There will be times where we don't really see eye to eye with each other. But we all have to understand that we're here with a shared goal, and that goal is to do our best and make Iowa the best for the citizens of the state. My hope is that we are able to serve the people of the, Iowa, the state of Iowa with a government that is smaller and smarter. Regardless on where you stand on many of the issues that we'll d discuss this year, we have a solemn responsibility to work through those issues and bring a just conclusion to, for our citizens. My goal as a legislator, as is many of you, is to wisely spend our taxpayers' dollars, provide efficiency of government and services, advance our freedoms and liberties like the Second Amendment and life, and ensure our government works for the people and not the other way around. May God bless each of you and the great state of Iowa. Thank you for your attention, and now let's get to business. Thank you.